We're going to look at some adverts now and we're going to talk about where you might have seen them before. Let's have a little think about adverts. Now, you're probably used to seeing adverts in newspapers, in magazines, maybe pop-up adverts on the internet and adverts between television shows. But what you might not know is that there are adverts all over the internet that are disguised as something else. Just watch this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a collab with Oscar and Dennis. This week I received a super exciting present, this mysterious box. I wonder what's inside. Wow, it's a brand new virtual reality kit and some games sent from Your Glasses VR. Looking for adventure? The new Super Drone from Radio Control Vehicles will help you find it. I wonder how it all works. I heard you can download new scenes to explore. We're so excited to see what it's like. And if you want to get one at home, there's a 10% discount with the link in the description. Amazing! It feels like a real forest. It feels a bit weird, but really cool too. <laughs> Turn around. That's it. Now come here. This is absolutely epic. I just love it. We're doing a special giveaway. Subscribe to all of us and subscribe to Your Glasses VR. Then leave a comment below for a chance of winning your very own kit. That's it for us. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. People can profit from the things that they do online. So that's get something that they didn't have before. It might be money. It might be clothes. It might be a piece of technology. Money is paid to advertise or promote things. Sometimes something that costs a lot of money is given free to somebody so that they'll talk about it. New likes, views, subscribers or followers are encouraged. Have you watched an unboxing video? A video where someone unpacks a parcel on camera and talks about what they find? Do you think the creator of that video will make profit from making it? They might. The product might have been given to them for free and they might have been asked to make a video about it. They might have been paid to make the video about it. What about a giveaway? So a giveaway is a competition where a free prize can be won. Do you think the person who's created the giveaway is going to profit from it? They might. It's a highly unlikely that a giveaway is really free. And it might just be your information that they're taking, but you're probably gonna to have to give them something in order to try and win. What about a collab? So a collaboration is where two or more people or companies work together to promote each other. Do you think that there'll be profit made by the creators? Well, again, they might. It might be about raising the profile of one of the collaborators. It might be about raising the profile of a new product. Merch. So merchandise, products available to buy, connected with a popular person or brand. Well, we've all seen it, haven't we? Minecraft t-shirts. T-shirts plastered with famous singers or TV shows. Do you think the creators will make profit? Yes, definitely. They're selling these products and somewhere along the line, they will get a slice of the profit made by selling this merchandise. Affiliate links. Hmm, what are they? Have a think. So they're a link to another website. Often a website where you can buy something, so a shop, 
where the creator earns money for every time somebody clicks onto it through their site. Will the creator make money? Yes, of course they will. And it might only be pence per order. But if they get enough clicks and they get enough pence, it can start to become a lot of money. Here's something you might not know. People posting things like videos online must tell you if they've been paid to advertise or promote something. It's the law. So you might see videos that have got ad in the title or gifted written somewhere on the video or sponsored content or the full word advert. This is a way of them letting you know somewhere in this video they've been paid to promote or advertise something that they're talking about. So there could be more to your favourite YouTuber than you thought. It's always helpful to think about the motive. And a motive is why somebody does something. So why would someone post a YouTube video? What would their motivation be? It could be that there's more than one. Pause the video now and have a think. It might just be simply to make people laugh. It might be to share their opinion about something. It might be that they've been paid to advertise a product and in that way it might be to make money or like this video it might be to do some teaching or share some learning. Why might somebody share a photo online? Again it could be more than one reason. Pause the video now and have a think. It might be to support an article or some information. It might just be because they want to share it with their friends and family. But again, it might be that they've got something in it that they're trying to advertise and sell. It could be just because they find the picture funny. Maybe it's a sleeping cat. Or a duck with a funny hat. Why might somebody want to run a giveaway? Could there be more than one reason? Pause the video now and think about this one. It might be to get more likes or subscribers. Often you might see click here or click there and you could be in the chance of winning this prize. It could be to celebrate a big achievement. It could be to reward their followers. Or it could be because they're being paid to advertise the product. So remember, when you see something online, ask yourself, where has it come from? Who created or shared it? What do they want me to do? And will they gain anything? This will help you find the motivation, their reason why they've posted it. Now it's over to you. You've got four different scenarios that I want you to think about. Where has this come from? Who created or shared it? What do they want me to do? And will they gain anything from it? Jot them down on the sheet that's in your pack or the sheet that you've downloaded and reflect on what you've learned today.